Hi everyone, welcome back to another Century Equipment video. I'm Angelo D'Ambrosia and on today's three minute tip, I wanna to talk to you about pumping your water ice. All right, let's get started. So pumping your water ice, what that means is when water ice sits, the flavor sinks to the bottom of the bucket separating from the ice at the top. You notice that by ice crystals at the top of the water ice. If you would serve that, it, it's not pleasant. It's not getting all that taste you worked hard to get uh, into your product. And it would give your customer not a good experience then causing them may not, they may not return. Um, so pumping it keeps it fresh, keeps the flavor in the whole bucket of um, whatever you are, whatever you're making. Um, so here, here's the pump itself has the disc at the end and has these holes in the disc. So when you're pushing down into the ice, it's coming through the holes and you push down to the bottom of the bucket and you would pull back up. So you're literally pulling the flavor back into the ice. Okay. Um, this is something we sell here at Century along with the batch machine that makes the water ice. It's very important to keep your water ice pumped. Um, all water ice is, is sugar, water, flavor and stabilizer okay all these things will separate the stabilizer is the thing helping keep it together it's still the flavor will sink and you want to do it the time frame to do this is as often as your product calls for it so when you see that separation start to happen you want to pump it so the next customer is getting the full flavor of your water ice um, i actually have a uh, flavor i made to demonstrate um, how to how to pump over here we made a uh, bubble gum water ice so let me take you to that we have our water ice here and I have the water ice pump in some sanitizer. So as you can see, the separation is already started and how you can tell is the ice crystals, how they're white and not colorful. So that means the juice is, uh, all the flavor is now at the bottom and the, it's escaping from the top. Okay, you want to do this as often as your product calls for it. So basically, you're going to take your pump, okay, you're going to push it down to the bottom and then pull the flavor back up, okay. You see how it's bringing up all the flavor. That's what we want, okay? All right, now we'll put that right back in here. And then just to make it pretty again, you get your spade. You just smooth it back over. Now it is back to be able to serve. So now we pumped it, all the flavors back up. I just wanted to make a, uh, a cup of water ice here. So you just get your flavor, pour it into our cup here. All right, so just to recap, um, we made our, our water ice, we pumped it, bringing the flavor back up. It is very important to do so. Again, it separates in that bucket, bringing the all the good flavor down to the bottom, all the ice to the top. So what you wanna do is every so often, you wanna get that pump, get it to the bottom, bring that flavor back up. Um, it's, it really depends on your product to put a time frame to it. You wanna do it as often as your product calls for it. Um, so your next customer will get all that good flavor in, um, in the cup that they order. Um, well, looks like time's up. See you next month.